All right, welcome everyone to God's Daily Dose, where we come together for a daily dose of God's Word. If you'll join me in prayer, and then we'll read Acts chapter 3. Oh, gracious Father, we're just so thankful for another day, Lord. Another day to be able to praise you and worship you, Lord, and come together and be in your Word. We're so thankful for one another, Lord. God, I just ask you to lift up our church members, Lord, and help us find healing and forgiveness and understanding and knowledge, Lord. Help us to grow each and every day in your word, Lord, and help us to be obedient to your word and loving to others, Lord. Empower us to love others the way that you love us, Lord. And I just ask that you give us a spirit of understanding today, Lord, as we read your word and help us to better understand the Holy Spirit and um, help guide us each and every day, Lord, with the spirit and help us to be in the spirit daily. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. All right. So yesterday we were we read Acts chapter two and um, Luke uh, was speaking on Peter and um peter was preaching to the fellow his fellow uh the fellow jews there and telling them to repent and be baptized every one of you this is um acts 2 38 peter replied repent and be baptized every one of you in the name of jesus christ for the forgiveness of your sins and you will receive the gift of the holy spirit so he gave us um pretty much told us how to receive the holy spirit right so today we're going to read acts chapter three and i'm just going to start um let's see one day peter and john were going up to the temple at the time of prayer at three in the afternoon now a man who was lame from birth was carried was being carried to the temple gate called beautiful where he was Put every day to beg from those going into the temple courts when he saw Peter and John about to enter he asked them for money Peter looked straight at him and said oh sorry Peter looked straight at him as did John then Peter said look at us so the man gave them his attention expecting to get something from them then Peter said silver or gold i do not have but what i do have i give you in the name of jesus christ of nazareth walk taking him by the right hand he helped him up and instantly the man's feet and ankles became strong he jumped to his feet and began to walk then he went with them into the temple courts walking and jumping and praising god when all the people saw him walking and praising God, they recognized him as the same man who used to sit begging at the temple gate, called Beautiful, and they were filled with wonder and amazement at what had happened to him. While the man held on to Peter and John, all the people were astonished and came running to them in the place called Solomon's Colonnade. When Peter saw this, he said to them, Fellow Israelites, why does this surprise you why do you stare at us as if by our own power or godliness we have made this man walk the god of abraham isaac and jacob the god of our fathers has glorified his servant jesus you handed him over to be killed and you disowned him before pilate though he de he had decided to let him go you disowned the holy and righteous one and ask that a murderer be released to you you killed the author of life but god raised him from the dead we are witnesses of this by faith in the name of jesus this man this man whom you see and know was made strong it is jesus name and and the faith that comes through him that has completely healed him as you can see now fellow israelites i know that you acted in ignorance as did your leaders but this is how god fulfilled what he had foretold through all the prophets saying that his messiah would suffer repent then and turn to god 
so that your sins may be wiped out, that times of refreshing may come from the Lord, and that he may send the Messiah who has been appointed for you, even Jesus. Heaven must receive him until the time comes for God to restore everything, as he promised long ago through his holy prophets. For Moses said, The Lord your God will raise up for you a prophet like me from among your own people. You must listen to everything he tells you. Anyone who does not listen to him will be completely cut off from their people. Indeed, beginning with Samuel, all the prophets who have spoken have foretold these days, and you are heirs of the prophets and the covenant of God made with your fathers. He said to Abraham, through your offspring, all peoples on the earth will be blessed. When God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you to bless you by turning each of you from your wicked ways. Amen. All right, so Peter, once again, you know, in this chapter, we don't uh, hear them speak about the Holy Spirit, but we see the Holy Spirit at work. We see them at work in Peter and John. Um, Peter, uh, especially um, when he heals the beggar, that's the Holy Spirit that did the healing, right? Um, in Jesus' name, he was healed by the Holy Spirit that resides inside of Peter. And then we see him embold Peter to be able to um, acknowledge these these men and what their wrong deeds and their wickedness right on how they persecuted Jesus and sent him to his death but at the same time he offers them hope in the name of Jesus Christ um, and tells them that you know uh, I'm gonna just read 25 and you are heirs of the prophets of the covenant of God that God made with your fathers. He said to Abraham, through your offspring, all peoples of the earth will be blessed. When God raised up his servant, he sent him first to you to bless you by turning each of you from your wicked ways. So he begins in Jerusalem. This is where we start to see the good news spread, but it begins here and it begins here with them. And he's trying to help them turn from their wicked ways. Um, and then we'll start seeing from here out the gospel's going to spread from out to the Gentiles from the Jews. Um, but it began with the Jews. Um, but he offers them hope through Jesus Christ um, as their Savior and as for forgiveness of our sins. So today's daily reminder: Let's fully rely on God each and every day. Let's have uh, submit ourselves to God and um, have faith and trust in Jesus that. He is. He will forgive us of our sins, and holding to the, um, he will hold up to his promises of salvation and eternal life. And um, we want to seek first God's kingdom and His righteousness daily. Uh, and we want to be in the Word daily, but we don't want to just know it. We want to live it, love it, and obey it. And we want to pray always and about everything. So y'all have a blessed day. We hope to see y'all here Monday through Friday. We're here at noon every day at 6.30 in the evenings. And um, we're here Sunday at 10, 10 a.m. Bible, uh, 10 a.m. Sunday school, 11 a.m. Uh, service, and then 6 p.m. for prayer and service, or worship as well. So we hope to see y'all soon. Y'all have a blessed day. And uh, feel free to leave a comment and let me know what you think about today's uh, teaching in Acts chapter 3. And we'll see y'all tomorrow for Acts 4. Y'all have a blessed one.